Welcome to our final edition on Steelers TV here in Sweden before we head off to Austria. A disappointing night. Who'd ever thought we'd have said that about a two-goal defeat against an SHL club. HV 71-5, the Sheffield Steelers 3. And when Dowdy pulled it back to 3-3, wow, we all thought there was history in the making. But the quality and the class of the HV side came through. Three power play goals and a delayed penalty goal. Well, that just shows everything, doesn't it? The discipline of the Steelers just has to be that little bit better but in previous years it was hooking clutching grabbing it was just stick infringements this time around but it cost the Sheffield Steelers so post game we caught up with a very despondent and disappointed group even though they've got so much to be positive about but let's speak later to Mike Ratchuk and Robert Dowd and first to head coach Paul Thompson Paul, you've had a couple of minutes just to gather your thoughts after that game. I guess there's so many positives, but so many frustrations as well. Well, you go on the road and you're 3-3 three, three with 10 minutes to go. But, you know, we, I just addressed the team and I said that there is many, many positives. We had the courage to, after the first 10 minutes to get on the puck to make our plays. And, uh, and I thought we played a good 40 minutes of the 60, maybe the first 10 and the last 10. We were pushing and we got out of our shape a little bit. But it's, uh, you know, what I said to the team is what I'm saying to you right now. It, it was our discipline a little bit where there are penalties that don't get called in our league, but they get called over here. Anytime you lift your stick off the puck and it goes horizontal to the body, it touches gloves, they're going to get called. I mean, they weren't bad penalties. They weren't hooking and holding and grabbing. But we've got to be smarter. And if you look at HV71, everything is stick on puck. So their power play, three goals and, and one. Delayed penalty, you know, it hurt us last year in Frölunda and we still haven't learned our lesson. So we have to be smarter in that area. And uh, because I thought five on five, it was an even match apart from the first 10 minutes, you know, when it, what it took us to get going. You actually came in today after seeing uh, H3 practice, didn't you, and say, wow, their power play was, was an, excellent, uh, an excellent animal. Well, we made a mistake. We didn't take the middle away on, on, on one of the power play goals. But, you know, that's where your money goes. That's why... You know, they're paying hundreds of thousands of euros to guys to, to take advantage. They do that in their own league. And, you know, we got to look at our penalty killing as well. And uh, we did make a couple of mistakes on that. And, uh, but we go on. We go on. We, we, we put a good performance. I'm proud of the way the boys played. I hope now they've learned their lesson that collectively we, we, can't, we can't give other teams. Because Salzburg, their skill level is through the roof as well. You know, and they have power plays that, 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 that will hurt you. But, you know, ours was one for two, and we were 50% tonight. We, and 50-50 calls you don't get over here. We don't get them. That's the way of the world on the road. doesn't matter what country you're in. So we have to be a bit smarter. Huge disappointment, but you've got to remember as well, you've been on the ice for eight, nine days, and you've just taken an SHL team for 50 minutes. I think we're all disappointed because we all know the reasons why today so uh, but we got to put that right now and that's our job so many 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 positives from today many positives but it's never a, you know it's never a nice feeling to lose and we're a club that uh, doesn't take that lightly regardless of who we play daddy you just come within 10 minutes of taking an SHL uh, scalp and there's, there's a lot of frustration and disappointment but what an effort yeah I mean uh... Right now you can't help but be frustrated because when we pulled it to 3-3 you could see they were panicking. We, had, we, had, we were all over them, we had the majority of the puck, we were making big plays, making good plays and uh, we, were, we were really up there and then they show us what teams like that can do on the power plays and stuff like that tonight. I, I don't know the actual ratio but I think pretty much all their goals by one was power play or one man up. So it's, it's very, very frustrating but we, we've got to take the positives out of a game like that. Like We were there till the, the, the very end. With, with, with a great team like that and I, I think uh, we surprised a couple of people tonight. I think we may have even surprised ourselves. We've all been on trips before where disciplines cost but they've been hooking, holding, grabbing, clutching. It wasn't like that tonight. They were kind of penalties that wouldn't Not, get called at home, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, no, no, they wouldn't get called but they're, they're, they're really strict on everything here and uh, away from home you never think you're going to get a get a call for you, do you know what I mean? So I, I think uh, we got punished tonight a little bit from having those sticks up, but we're, guys aren't used to playing that type of game, so we we got to learn from that and uh, adjust for our next three games. You ever say die? We got it to 1-1. One, one. They went 2-1, 3-1 one, one pretty quickly, and it could have gone you know, yep. a little for a Lunderish, but he didn't, did they? They got that second one back, and then when you got that 3-3 three, three goal. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I think that's a, t a testament to the, the guys in the room. I think we've got a great set of guys this year, and uh, I really believe we've got a great, great team and a great spirit already. Even though we've been together such a such a short time, 
and, and we showed that we took it to them. We, we, we didn't back off. We, we didn't give them too much respect. Once we went down a couple of goals, guys started pushing harder. But guys wanted the puck more. They wanted it. So it, it was good to see. Doesn't get any easier, does it? Saturday in Salzburg. Not at all. Not at all. Learn from from our mistakes tonight. The, the great thing about tonight is you, when you take the positives from it, every goal is uh, is like we can we can do without it. Like we, we made those mistakes. It was a mistake that cost it. They didn't outclass us. They didn't outplay us. We made little mistakes and they capitalised on it. If we we take those mistakes away, it could have been a very very different story. Thoughts after that one, Mike? That was frustrating. That's. I mean, we. I thought we played phenomenal as a group. I think. Um, you know, I don't want to say it was better than what we expected because I think we were prepared. But I think. Uh, I think as a group we did great. We. We. You know, we learned a lot more about each other, and. Um, you know, that's not the result we wanted. It was a, a few uh, frustrating parts of the game, but. Uh, you know, I think a lot of the the positive is, is a lot of the mistakes we made. We were. You know, self-inflicted. We can fix, and. Um, you know, we just got to come back Saturday ready. They scored their first goal, they threatened to go ahead, but every time they did that and they, they wanted to put the foot on our throat, we, we came back, you know, Big John gets that first, you get that second, Daddy with the third. Yeah, I think that shows our attitude and our, our you know, our team identity for the year is, um, you, know, we, you know, we may start with a goal down, but we fought the whole game, we battled the whole game, we never, we never had a uh, quitter's mentality and, and um, you know, it would have been nice to finish it, but you know, like you said, we kept bouncing back and we kept fighting and, and uh, you know, they have a good team over there and, uh, you know, I thought we, we brought a lot to them and played well. Doesn't it show a lot that we're disappointed that we've taken an SHL team, you know, the finest league in Europe, for 50 minutes and, and you can just see the disappointment now. It shows how far we've come and our expectations as a group. Yeah, absolutely. It's 100%. I think uh, it would have been a different story if we were kind of joking and laughing after a game like that I think we were you know we everybody's disappointed we're you know we have gamers in this room and and um, you know like you said it shows a lot where we've come and and uh, you know I think we'll we're only going to get stronger we're only going to get better as a team and and uh, you know we just got to be ready next game yeah one of the great things is next game's only 48 hours away yeah yeah we it's a quick turnaround which is nice for us I think it would be a little bit tougher mentally if you had a week or so to wait to the next one so so, you know, it's nice. We just have to bounce back, get our heads ready and, and uh, show our resilience and be ready to go.